how to flex their muscles and bra and <laughs> Brian is ready to take us into our next fight. John Real Casimero versus Marutim Talane. No. All right, uh, now uh, we're going to take a closer look at uh, the two boxes that are coming up. IBF World Championship. This the tail of the tape. Uh, the visitor being uh, younger than the world champion, uh, but he also uh, wow takes uh, takes um, advantage in terms of height a little bit. But we'll see how that pans out in the ring. But it seems pretty close in terms of height and reach. Uh, Talana obviously being older is the more experienced boxer, but I can tell you now, John Rio Casimero is a dangerous boxer. Well, Nick Duran did say that he's no slouch. He's watched a few fights of his. And tonight, yeah, we'll see what he is likely to do as we take it to Brian Mulder for the last time. All right, so this bout is another international affair. It's the IBF flyweight bout, and it's scheduled for 12 rounds. So let's first bring the boxers into the ring before we do the formal introductions once again. Firstly, let's welcome the challenger all the way from the Philippines, John Real. Casimero. Well, the Philippines, that's a Filipino flag. John Real Casimero. Well, Filipino boxers are known as dangerous boxers as they have a fight. They fight every week in the Philippines. As Casimero and his team make their way to the ring with the uh, Filipino flag. Very proud nations, the Filipinos. And of course, he needs no introduction because he is the champion, Moruti Amtalane. So Moruti Amtalane, really maturing like fine wine. There you go. We're looking forward to seeing what Moritim Dalane has in store for South Africa tonight. The last fight was against uh, Zolani Tete. Very tough five rounds indeed. Tell you one thing, this fight is not not going to be easy. All right, let's do your judges for you right now. Your judges hail from, first of all, from Canada, it's Alan Davis. From the USA, the lovely lady, Valerie Dawson. And our very own South African, Simon Klamjashi, makes up the three judges. Your referee, definitely for this particular fight, is a man who hails from New Jersey. It's Earl Morton. Introducing the principles to you right now. He's fighting out of the red corner. He's wearing the light and blue trunks. He weighed in at 50.52 kilograms. He's had 15 fights. He's won 14 of them, eight by knockouts, one loss. Let's make him feel nice, warm, and welcome in South Africa. He hails from the Philippines. John Real Casimero. His opponent. He is wearing the almighty red trunks. He weighed in at 50.76 kilograms. He's had 28 fights. 
26 wins, 17 by knockout. He's lost two. Please, let's make him feel like the man he is. He is Moriuti, baby face, Amtalane. Instructions. I expect you to be able to protect yourself and give me a good clean play. Touch gloves and good luck. Touch gloves. Good luck. Well, that's a voice of one Earl Morton. Earl Morton, a referee here tonight. The man who was uh, removed get from a fight between Bernard Hopkins and uh -uh. Kelly Public because somebody had told the public corner that uh, Earl Morton was a good friend of Bernard Hopkins and the New Jersey. State Athletic Commission removed him from Yo, that go. fight, but later, wow. after investigation, they found him not guilty. And tonight, he's standing here between these two pugilists, young men, very short, both of them, fighting in the flyweight division. John Real Casimero from the Philippines, I'm a youthful-looking one. I'm glad they didn't find him guilty. He can't be. He can't be guilty <laughs> of being somebody's friend. <laughs> Well, they thought he was going to influence the fight too. <laughs> in Bernard Hopkins' favor. Uh, tell you something else about Earl Morton. He was also the advisor to the making of the film about Arturo Gatti and Mickey Ward, the Irish fighter, the fighter. Well, Takalani will have to find this young man. He's all over the ring, or rather. Muruti. Big punches there from Casimero. Muruti has that crouching star. He's going to be good fodder for Casimero. Already takes his time trying to weigh his man down. Very little changes to the referee. One referee, one judge added to the judges. Sazi Kamlasha is a South African judge. The other judges, Alan Davis, is still here with us at ringside. Well, and Valerie Dallane on the uh, Dorset. Yeah, Marutin Dalane is trying to close the gap at this point. Dalane now taking the fight to the Filipino by the Filipino comes back with a big punch. Now the, the Filipino does throw some mean punches. One of the other things about the Filipino is his movements. He's quite upright. Uh, I'm not necessarily comfortable with his coordination in terms of movement, but he throws hard punches, that's for sure. Now to the body. That is for sure. So. Casimero obviously getting an opportunity to fight for a world championship. It couldn't be a slouch. He's here to show what he's made of. No doubt to talk about this man, Moruti. Takes his time to weigh his man down. Clash of heads there. Uh, Dallin to try and establish his jab. And uh, Casimero quite happy to to counter as Ndalane comes in to engage. Casimero, only 14 fights to his name. There you go, uh, Morutin Ndalane. I did say that Morutin Ndalane cannot be flat-footed in this fight. He's going to ah! have to move. That's the end of round one. Welcome back to ringside. I must say that first round, Casimero actually 
demonstrated why he is in this ring. Yeah. Stay over there. Well, round number two scheduled for 12, the IBF flyweight title fight here at the Nazrek Arena. Coming to you live on SABC2, courtesy of SABC Sport and Branco Sports Productions. Casimero from Wild Potter, good punches got on. Beak up a card, this young man. He's a moving target. A good overarm right from Cosimero. Staying out of trouble for now. Announce his arrival in the first round with big punches, booming punches. Look at that. Swivels as he throws that punch. Well, Murutim Dalane concentrating on the jab, just throwing it out to keep his man at bay. Now he's throwing that right from the outside as he cannot penetrate him on the inside. Muruti. Happy to just lead with the right hand sometimes. He is such a mobile opponent, uh, John Real Casimero. As to the body, a big punch from Maruti to the body. Maruti Mdala in his corner wants speed from him. Once again from John Real Casimero. It's that uppercut he's been waiting for. Deep combination from Tolane. Well, the Filipino is not overawed. Now the Filipino looking to drop an overarm left. Overarm right, rather. Uh, Once again, shook the young man. Better exchanges from Morutim Dalane in this round. Morutim Dalane, what a hardened uh, flyweight champion he, he is. I mean, he's definitely built, with all that experience, he's built a lot of resistance. Uh, he's ah. able to withstand whatever power punches other boxes can throw against them. Well, let's take a little sum of the action in that round. Yeah, the action really just, as you can see, demonstrated by these pictures. Murutin Dalan are quite happy to step up the pace. Some of Dalana's supporters engaging in Indramo, a traditional Zulu dance, as they try to encourage their men to throw a lot more punches and harder punches and telling blows. Oh, big gobble cuts from the young man from the Philippines. Yeah, no, I mean. Ah. Must not punch yeah. himself. What? Referee Morton says your punches, my friend. Yes, um, booming punches, this young man. <laughs> Hope he's not out. <laughs> a 
to the body. Simpson taking that punch. Wow. Doesn't it look a little bit like a, a young man in Pacquiao? Oh, big punch from Talane. Yeah, I know. You can see both boxers definitely throwing some huge punches. There you go, Morutin Talane trying to close the distance. And what is done here very well is, is uh, to establish the jab first. And then start to build on his attack from there. Elbow arm right from the Filipino. Very mobile, the Filipino. That's what I was thinking. Yes, yeah, it's very mobile. And, uh, look at this referee. When Dalana goes downstairs and hits body punches, he doesn't get warned. That's because he can tell that, that those body punches are going to the body and not and, and not in intended to go below the belt. Some Talane. Another over. Amra. Oh, good to the jaw. Turned his head, but this young man is still here. He's going nowhere. Very strong. Talane has probably thrown some of his biggest punches in this round. Wow. It's the battle of the same punches, both of them with looping over arm rights. It's incredible, and I mean, Dalane missed twice with his overarm rise, and his opponent, Casimero, arrived twice with his. So at close quarters here, you can see Casimero quite keen to throw some uppercuts from the right hand, as well as some left hooks. He likes to throw short punches from the outside, ah. but he supports that with a lot of speed in terms of how he closes the distance. Well, I couldn't pick up what the referee was trying to say in that corner, and uh, I hope he uh, it's not something serious. He's trying to tell them Talana corner. Now, Dixie, I don't know about you, this spot seems to be still a little bit even for now. Yeah, no, the, the fight is still to be won. Definitely still to be won. Uh, Mdalane is quite happy to... One thing I must, I must applaud Mdalane for is he can be flat-footed, but tonight you can see that he's quite mobile. I think they knew. Uh, what kind of opponent to ex expect the other thing is if you look at his fight plan he's quite happy to cut the ring instead of following Casimero around uh, and the other thing the third thing would be the the, the body punches that Ntalane is selecting you know have been pretty effective uh, I think that he'd be encouraged to go downstairs again just to see if uh, Casimero does really take body punches as Mera, very clever, he draws Talana in. And as he comes in, he jumps the team and throws very good punches. Look at that again. He's trying to, he's trying to make Talana come in. Well, he's got lightning hand speed, this wow. young man. I'm just looking at the variety of punches that he throws as well. I break it on and he throws them from awkward corners. Yes, no, he definitely does. This awkward very, angles, rather. Yes. Very awkward. Uh, he throws those punches that you think he shouldn't be able to throw it from that position, pretty much in the same way that, I mean, you oh. probably did think that way when you were watching Nassim Hamed some years ago. an upper card there on the inside 
It's a quick reaction that is needed from Casimero. And once again, Dalana gets. Can you see I'm Dalana cast the man. ring? And I mean, look at that now. He's cornered him. Very, very smart. I mean, if you look at the combination that Dalana just threw there, he missed with the left hand on purpose just to make sure Casimero commits to a particular positioning. And then he arrives with the right hand. Another combination driving his man back from Talana. Talana beginning to get the over the upper hand in this fight. Come to the end of round four. Welcome back to ringside here at the Nasrak Expo Center in Johannesburg. Let's have a look at some of the action. There you go, uh, Dallan. It's a looking right hand uh, by the target. They have to start dominating the fight at the moment. You can see that whatever Dallan can throw, Casimir is quite happy to throw it back. Well, tonight a great deal of action in Johannesburg as uh, Wafana Wafana playing Egypt at the Coca-Cola Park. There's another tournament elsewhere in town. And we are here at the Nasrek Arena. Well, our cameraman nearly landed on his back there. His reactions were really surprising as Mtalane, as I said in the last round, is getting the upper hand in this fight. He has somewhat slowed down Casimero. Wow. Casimero has shown a few things here. No, definitely. I mean, you look at how he doubles up on the left hand. And there he goes again. And, and, and the one thing that um, Dallan is going to have to watch out for is that the points, the points have got to stay home. The points have got to stay home, but it's a tough fight. Jeez, it's no easy fight. Uh, just have a look at uh, who are the upper of the opponents in this division. Pull it out, pull it out, pull it out. on it as I said following his man and uh, really cutting the corners well this could this be the end could this be the end yes it is well the young man couldn't take it anymore there's just too much too hard from Talon Celebration here from Talane. His brother, his elder brother, lifting up him high, rejoicing. And the young man from Lindelani in Durban. Young man 
is not rated in the top 20 in the IBF, but really he showed that he can withstand those big punches. But in the end, definitely it was did. If you look much. at some of the action from uh, the the fight here, you can see that there was seemingly a clash of heads. Let's see if that was a punch. Can we look at that from another angle? Look at that. They meet, but it is a punch downstairs. Okay, it is a punch downstairs. The punch that it, there was no head clash there. He's complaining about a head clash, but it was actually a left hand downstairs to the body. <laughs> well, yeah, it's a great deal, and as we take you back to our ring announcer to give you the time and the decision, Brian Mulder. Referee Earl Morton from New Jersey stops this fight one minute 51 in the foot brown for the winner and still the IBF flyweight champion of the world Muruti Babyface Amtalani <laughs>